Hello everyone. This tutorial will show you how to bend your orbits around planets and moons. After seeing most streamers fight with maneuver nodes, I figured it would be better to show you a much easier way. Maneuver nodes hide what you do. Sometimes it is better to not plan or not use them. In order to go to the moon, wait until it rises just over the horizon. You'll need to burn up to about 3050 meters a second from 100 km orbit. As you continue burning, you will intercept the moon from behind it, putting you into a prograde orbit. If you want a retrograde orbit, burn for a little bit longer. If you burn even more, you will get a free return trajectory, which is a no assist, gravity assist. Conix Patch Draw Mode 0 is helpful for transfers, as it shows you exactly what your orbit is going to do around the orbit's body. The problem with maneuver nodes is that burning normal or anti-normal also adds a prograde or retrograde component. If you are truly burning on your normal or anti-normal, your periapsis and apoapsis should not change. To change inclination, warp to the halfway point. To move the escape vector south, burn north. To move the escape vector north, burn south. Changing your inclination will cost anywhere between nothing and twice your current orbital velocity. The slower you are, the less your transfers will cost. Most people seem to reverse their orbits by just capturing, warping to apoapsis, reversing their velocity, which costs twice the current orbital velocity, and then finally burn retrograde to circularize at periapsis. You can bend your orbit around a planet or moon. To move it north, burn north. To move it south, burn south. To move it east, burn east. And to move it west, burn west. As I want to change my orbit from a 270 orbit into a 90 orbit, I'll burn on the 90 degree mark until my orbit has moved to the other side of the moon. There's an easy way to get to other planets too. It takes longer, but you don't need to wait for transfer windows. I'll demonstrate it to get to Minimus first. Put your apoapsis on your target's orbit. If you need to do an inclination change, warp halfway and put the ascending or descending node on the apsis. As I need to move my apoapsis up, I burn north. Then, warp to your apsis. I actually get to intercept in three orbits out of pure chance, but normally you'll have to adjust the timing of your orbit. To show this, I did a timing burn by burning prograde and moving the target marker to meet on the apoapsis and node. If you're doing this for planets, this step takes a while. If you're in the default conics patch mode, this site won't be too unfamiliar for you. This orbit is completely messed up. To get back into an equatorial orbit, you will first need to move your periapsis as close to the equator as you can by bending your orbit. Warp to your periapsis and bend retrograde over the equator. The idea is to get your apoapsis also near the equator.
When you are near the apoapsis but you are still over the equator, do your plane change. It'll be much cheaper. Transferring back to Kerbin is a simple matter of flinging your orbit so the escape point is aligned with either the body's prograde or retrograde motion. Because I want to go back to Kerbin, I will need to slow down, so I'll need to burn along Minimus's retrograde direction. Now it's just a simple matter of landing.